Hey everybody, it's Wick here, and I've got 10 eBay items I've recently sold, and uh, I went through and picked 10 that would kind of add up to an hour's worth of listing, so you can see how much potential money that would be for an hour's worth of work. Now, of course, that doesn't count, you know, the time you take to source, um, but I think as far as shipping goes, it would kind of be factored in there. It usually only takes me a minute or two to ship an item. Um, if it's a, like a kind of a larger, unique item, I have to look for a box. Maybe it takes a little bit longer. But like the first class stuff, I already got the, the boxes and the bags, uh, the poly bags and everything I need right there. So it doesn't take much time. So this is um, supposed to represent about an hour's worth of listing time. So I thought it would just be fun to do that as kind of a theme here. The first item I got here is this uh, Rego or Rego watch. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, I believe it's from the 40s based on my research. Um, this actually came from an auction. Um, got it for $17. Now, I don't go to a lot of auctions myself. My dad does, but um, I'm not too into them. I do enjoy them. It's just that they seem like they take a lot more time to source because if you're something you want, you don't know what it's going to bring, and a lot of times you have to sit for hours to wait for it. Uh, so I don't go to a lot of them. I don't source at a lot of them, but I do enjoy them. I think they're great, uh, and you can definitely make a killing. I have in the past, and I do want to make it a point to go to more. Uh, but I did end up selling this watch for $173. So after fees and shipping and everything, it's $130.90 profit on this watch. I've never heard of this brand before on a watch, um, but I guess it's somewhat sought after. You never know, like when you look something up, what it's going to be worth. And this is one of those things that was looked like it was it was in really good condition too, and it it did sell very well. So here's something that's really easy to list: uh, these hats. Um, this is I forget. I guess it's the the fifty nine hats. Uh, I got a bunch of these. I haven't listed them all. I listed a few though. And I was wondering not long ago why this hat wasn't selling because the other ones I listed sold fairly quick because they were new with tags. But it seems um, on a few of my items, the pictures disappeared. Um, this was the only picture. Uh, this wasn't even the main photo. And um, <laughs> so that's why it didn't sell because I had even in there like look at the tags, see, ta see pictures for tags and all this stuff. And well, there's no pictures. So um, I know people were having trouble with that on eBay where photos got messed up um, a few months ago. And uh, I'm going to have to go through and check all my old listings. That's, that might be why they're not selling. Um, it's just because there's no pictures showing. So that's really frustrating. But I did drop the price a few weeks ago when I was dropping prices. Um, I sold this hat for $18.24. And I paid 3 bucks for it at Goodwill. So the profit in the end was $9.21. I, When I list something on eBay, I want to make $10 profit in the end. That's my goal. And I would have on this hat. It's just like I said, I dropped the price because it wasn't selling. Um, but if I had the pictures, it probably would have sold and I would have got a couple more bucks. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. $9.21. It, it, these hats take like five minutes to list. It's just you set them there, picture, 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 and just go through the process and once you list a few things on ebay you start getting a lot quicker too because you're just familiar with the buttons and everything you have to do you get into a rhythm but nine dollars 21 cents bread and butter item here's some converse all-star running shoes i got these at goodwill for a 4.99 basic shoe price i just thought they were cool looking uh, kind of unique and they were in great condition uh, they've been sitting for a while too but all the pictures seem to be still there for these I sold these for $34.84 shipped and my profit in the end after all fees and cost, $16.79. So uh, not a bad sale. Just had to wait a while to get it. And a lot of times with shoes and clothing, you got to wait to that right person that wants that style and that size. So it can definitely be a waiting game. Ended up selling these two SodaStream kits here. Um, they're just the bottles. There's a larger bottle and a smaller bottle. Got these at Goodwill. Ended up spending $8.42 for both of them. And I was originally going to sell them on Amazon. And for some reason, when I did the research, I, I missed that it was restricted. Turns out it's a brand restriction. So I'm not going to be able to sell them on Amazon. So I put them on eBay. Of course, got a lot less money for them than I would have on Amazon. But I still made money. I sold them for $37.99. And after shipping, uh, $13.26 profit. 
So these were really easy to ship as well. I mean, easy to take pictures. It was just putting it in a priority box, putting some bubble wrap around it, shutting it, taping it, printing out the label. A um, couple minutes and probably five minutes to list it. Uh, here are these um, locks, uh, SmartSense door locks that I got. Um, I was trying to sell a, a lot of these on Amazon and uh, I was asked, told I was not authorized to sell them and asked to remove them. Um, the ones on Amazon already sold before I even seen the email. It was so quick. Uh, but then I'm like, well, I'll just listen. I, I, I spent like two grand on these clearance that lows. I was spending like $95 a piece on them. I'm not sure how many I ended up getting, but, uh, I list them on eBay. I got the same email on eBay and just, I won't get into the story cause I did on another video. It's just really frustrating. Uh, but I ended up selling, um, a couple of these on eBay and, um, sold them for, well, I paid $196 for the two. One guy bought two of them. Uh, I sold them for $297.88. My profit in the end for spending $196 was only $50.61. Uh, it would have been more, of course, on Amazon. But what I noticed is uh, these were kind of flooding the market. The prices were dropping. And I had the, the emails coming in from this company, which I won't fight it on Amazon, but on eBay, I'm willing to fight it and push push the limit. Because I don't like these companies telling me I can't sell something. Um, if I bought it, I should be allowed to sell it. Um, so what I did was I, I took my the rest of them I had and just returned them to Lowe's. Got my money back and said, you know what? The, the profits are getting lower. There could be returns. And then all of a sudden, you know, I got a lot more money into these. And the profits just not justifying it. Um, so... You know, in the end, I still made some money on Amazon, and I still made some money on eBay. $50 is nothing to sneeze at. So, um, in the end, it all worked out for me. I didn't lose any money, and I made money. Uh, here is a Beachbody DVD set. Got this at Goodwill for $4, and sold it for $34.99. Got $23.22 profit. And uh, this made me nervous as well, because I've heard other resellers talk about Beachbody and some of these other workout DVD sets. Uh, doing, I don't even know how it works as I've never got one. The Vero, Vero, however you say it. I don't know if it's just an eBay automatic thing or um, it's just Beachbody complaining. So I just listed this as um, uh, like new, I guess it was, or pre-owned. And then I put sealed in the title. And uh, whoever looked at this knew that it was sealed. You see it clearly see it was sealed. It says sealed in the description, but um I just done that kind of to protect myself just in case and I did price it like five dollars lower than everybody else that was selling it and I ended up getting twenty three dollars twenty two cents so I can't complain I only spent four bucks at a goodwill so um, in the end made some great money on this and I would like to know in the comments if any of you've had problems with Beachbody or anything like that um, you know just tell your story I would love to know uh, this was a great sale. This was another item that the pictures were removed. It's not as critical that the pictures were removed with something like this. But I spent $8.56 on this at Salvation Army. It's been some months now. Uh, maybe like nine months I had it listed. Uh, finally sold for $93.69 shipped. And it was one of those deals where the person asked me not to include an invo invoice that it was a gift. And, you know, they have like... 44,000 uh, feedback so you know they're a drop shipper and that's fine it's just always comical to me when they uh, make excuses on why to do that it's a gift or um, I don't know what other excuses they make really but I hear the gift one all the time but $62.71 profit on this had to sit for a while but happy to finally get it have been finding a whole lot of ink at thrift stores as much as in the past and I notice a lot of ink doesn't sell that well anymore. Um, I'm kind of steering away. Like, if, of course, if I don't make at least $10 profit, I'm not buying it. And it, Goodwill's been pricing up really bad ink for some reason. This one was actually $5. But it didn't expire yet. It was not until like the end of the next year. So um, I ended up getting like three of these actually. Um, this one sold for $24.99. I got $12.90 profit. Again, something that it takes less than five minutes to list is just a picture of each end and just put in the description when it expires and just list it. And I kept getting, I don't do best offers on stuff, and I kept getting emails from different people. One 
person emailed me like four different times asking me if I would take like $18 for it and all this stuff. And it's just, wow, just, this is why I don't do best offer. And I'm still getting e emails from people. And, um, when you find good ink like this, it's just, it's really easy to sell. It sells quick and you get $12 and 90 cents. Um, I can't complain. Here's, uh, another item that all the pictures disappeared except for this bad one here. I got this at a garage sale this past year for five bucks and um, it has been sitting and it has like had a bunch of watchers I noticed and I ended up dropping the price a little bit and I'm like why isn't this selling like there's people interested in it like the price seems good it's just because I had one lousy picture I didn't you know show a lot and um, of course I took more pictures it just they just disappeared on eBay so <laughs> Like I said, I got to go through and check everything. That's just really frustrating. I don't have time enough to deal with all this as it is and stuff that I shouldn't have to go back and fix. I am. But after fees and shipping and everything, I made $17.37. So there's a um, pretty good sale. I actually got a ton of gloves to list and spring and baseball season's coming up. I need to get those listed because I still got gloves last year that I'm like, I need to get them listed for spring. Spring passed. Got more. Now I just have a huge pile. So <laughs> um, I need to go to the garage, find the tote with all my gloves, and get those listed. But there's just always so much more to do. And finally, here is a pirate SpongeBob. Um, paid a dollar for him at Goodwill. I got like 20 different SpongeBob um, plushes at Goodwill um, not long ago. Paid a dollar a piece for him. Sold the pink uh, Cancer SpongeBob um, and got like 20 bucks just for him. So all these are just, you know, extra profit on the lot. And I picked out a few that sold higher than, um, what, like most of them just sell for like five, seven bucks. I'm just going to lot all together. And then there's a few that I just pulled out that sell for a bit more by themselves. And Pirate Spongebob was one of them. So I sold them for $14.99. In the end, I got $8.61. So not my $10 goal. But again, since I bought a lot of the, a lot of 20 of them, and I already sold one for 20, it's, it's still a decent profit there. It's one of those items that I could have lotted with another one, but it didn't really make sense. So again, I try to steer away from making less than $10 per listing. But uh, in this case, uh, it easy to list easy to ship so that's why that's lower but if you add everything together that's 345 dollars and 58 cents profit that's profit after all cost uh, fees paypal fees all of that uh, i just don't take tax out that i have to pay at the end of the year on profits but 345 dollars and it probably took only an hour to list all that stuff so you can see the potential there of course, if you're going sourcing, you might spend eight hours sourcing. You might find nothing. Uh, you might find a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Um, realistically, I feel like if I was to be able to break everything down in the work I do uh, for eBay and stuff, I think it'd probably be a hundred dollars an hour on average. Because, um, like I said, you don't find stuff all the time. Sometimes you might have to list something that takes. 20 minutes because you got to clean it up and everything and um, deal with all that junk, do some research. But this is stuff that a good example of a chunk of stuff you can list in an hour. Make $345. I got some $8 profits in there. I got some $50 profits in there. But it adds up. And um, if you're diligent and you're going out sourcing, I like to use the example go out sourcing uh, Monday through Wednesday, spend at least eight hours going to different places. And then on like Thursday and Friday, just list everything. Uh, I think you'll find that your profits will be pretty good. But that's going to do it for this video, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. Um, you know the drill. Hit that thumbs up button for me. I really do appreciate it. You can subscribe to follow me on my vlogs and all my resale adventures. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.